I'm Mark Kelly, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank RUF, raw, uncut, and first impressions. Last week, I had a first look at the Cichet Synchro SDC 3.0. This week, I'm going to dive into a first look of the tech on this thing. It comes with a controller. You can connect to it via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, so got to dive into this thing. Now, one thing that I've done, it's off camera so you all know, is I've got a bucket of water here. One thing that this thing has, it has dry run protection, so I have to put the pump in water so we can run, so I can make it do the things that I want it to do as a controller. So, plop this thing down in the bucket and uh, plug it in and let's see what happens. Hopefully, I don't get squirted all over the place because this thing's actually pretty powerful. 800 gallons per hour out of this thing. We'll see if I get wet. It's a raw uncut show. That could be fun. All right, it is booting up. There we go, moving some water around. I'm right now, I've got it up 100%. So if you're not an app person, you don't like tech, it comes with this, what's called hardwired controller. You can easily turn it up or down off this. You don't have to have the Cichet app to run it. You can run it like in any old pump with just control off the controller. Easy to use, touch button. Uh, it's got a power button on here as well. So if you're not a tech person, just use the controller. You'll be happy as can be. All right, so let's dive into the tech with this thing. I'm gonna pull up my app here, pull up my phone, and load up the Cichet Synchra app so we can have a look at this. Now, Cichet watched the video last week. They sent me a note and said, hey, here are some things you should try with the app, but I haven't connected this thing to the app yet. This is a dry run on this thing, so let's see what happens. All right, let's fire this thing up. So on the app, up here in the upper right, I have a plus button. Let me fire that up. So these are all the choices of things that I could connect. I'm gonna connect to Cichet Synchra SDC. So click on that. Here it is, 3.0, look at that. It's got its own little uh, selection right here in the bottom. So I'm gonna to touch that. So it says, push the plus button on the controller, keep it pushed while connecting the controller to the electrical power until the blue LED Wi-Fi starts blinking fast. Okay, so now it sounds like I gotta unplug this thing. So, unplug it and unplug, push it in, press the plus button while I connect it until the blue LED Wi-Fi starts blinking fast. So there's a little icon up here on the controller. Now it's blinking fast. That was easy. It says now wait about 20 seconds uh, and press, press the proceed button below. Okay, so I'm blinking. Sure, it's been 20 seconds. Let's see what happens. Control I would like to use Bluetooth. Okay, so it wants to connect to this thing to Bluetooth. Let's see what happens if we do that. I'm waiting. The LED that's blinking on the controller has now gone from blinking fast to blinking medium. Here's the SDC pump showing up on my phone. Okay, so now it says which network do I want to connect to. Uh, let's put it on my smart control network. I'm going to hit connect and I'm just waiting here. So the blinking on the controller has stopped. I have some, wow, that was fast. Okay, device name, let's call it STC 3.0. Return, smart system. So I can put it onto my frag tank. That's the tank directly below me, my fish room. Sure, we can put it on a new tank. So if you're setting up a new system, you can name a new tank and put other pumps on it. Put this pump on it, any other Cichet things on it. All right. So now it's in the app. I've come back to my home screen on the app, but I've spent maybe a minute on this so far. This has gone off without hitch. Still got the controller here. Now, one thing I'm noting, once it's connected to the app, I press the buttons on the controller, nothing happens. So I can only control it off the app. So that's good. That's gonna keep kids from fiddling with this thing. So let's jump into the app and let's see what we got here. So we can easily just turn this down speed cranks down. I can easily turn this up if I want. Speed then connects up. So I'm looking at maybe a one second delay on that. Let's turn this off. Boop, pump turns off. Now, this is showing me what percentage I'm rolling at. 
I can program this thing. If I want to go up or down, it doesn't necessarily make sense for a return pump to have it ramp up and ramp down. But if you wanted to use this for controlling a surge system or if this was a power head, that would make sense. We can pause it for a minute, like we wanted to have a feed mode. We can do that. I can set a feed mode time. There's a little icon down here at the bottom that tells me that it's feed mode. Now, pump name, pump and LED color. What? I can change the LED on this thing? Really? Smart system, temperature range, okay. All right, so that's set. Let's see what else we can do with this thing. Um, I can change it. It has an alarm for temperature range because this actually senses uh, the temperature of the water that it's in, which is cool. I can delete it. I can reset it back to factory mode. So I'm going to unpause the feed mode, hit the button, and the pump starts up again. That's cool. It's telling me what percentage it's running at. Again, I can turn it off. Temperatures. So I can look at temperature. This actually has a graph in it. One day to 60 days. There isn't any data here because I just plugged it in. One day, seven day, 30 days. That's cool. Apparently, there is voice commands set up. Let me see if I have that set up on the app. Voice assistance. Here we go. Control your CJ device with the help of a voice assistant. I'm on an Apple device. So I'm collecting Siri. Create. Let's just try it. So all shortcuts. Create one. Add an action. Uh, apps. So then I'm going to go in here. And here's the go. Control all app. Pump power. Pump status. Pump temperature. All right. So let's add. Let's do this. Let's do pump. Power on and off. Uh, ask each time. That's cool. Okay. Then I select a device. Which device do I want to use? I've got the pumps. These frag tank left, frag tank right. Frag. That's all the pumps in my frag tank down below me. This is SDC 3.0. Okay. Shortcut name. Let's just give this a quick name. Cche 3.0. Done. All right, I've created a shortcut on Siri for the CSHA 3.0. Let's give this a whirl. Hey Siri, CSHA 30. Which one? On. Done. Boom, and it turns on. Okay, there are a couple different things you can do with this. You can turn it on, turn it off. Uh, you can get a status report. Again, this is in beta mode, so there may be more coming, but this has been very painless to set this thing up and use it. Hey Siri, CSHA 30. Hey Siri, CSHA 30. Which one? Off. That's done. Boom! Now, I'm calling it CSHA 30 because that's the name I gave it quickly. You could set things up like tank 5, frag tank, main tank, whatever. That's pretty freaking cool. That's easy to do. The tech on this has been super easy. Now, one thing that uh, CSHA did point out to me, they said that you can use it in Wi-Fi mode or Bluetooth mode. So if you have no interest in controlling your pump from wherever you are in the world, then just leave it in Bluetooth mode. That way you can access it when you're only at home. But if you're like me and you like to control things and be able to check on things, put it in Wi-Fi mode, hook it up to your local Wi-Fi like I did, and you're done. Super simple. Impressed with this uh, CSHA. Good job, maybe I'll start using uh, <laughs> Siri shortcuts more. That's cool, that was easy. Um, you're not getting this back. Mm -hmm.